Michelle, thanks a lot. CBS 42 is your local election headquarters and former Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who controlled a Senate seat here in Alabama for 20 years, is in the 2020 race looking to get his old seat back. Sessions made the announcement that he was running for Senate one year after President Trump fired him for what he called his dream job. And Jeff Sessions joins us now here in Studio 42. Good to have you. Welcome to back. All right, good to be with you. And I'll just say it's not my seat. Okay. It's the people's seat of <laughs> Alabama. Right. And I'll ask them to consider me uh, uh, in this race, and I believe I can hit the ground running and will continue, as I have in the past, to advance yeah. the highest and best values of our state. Well, talking about that seat, that current seat being held by Senator Doug Jones, he's in your old seat, which he says the people's seat. He's in the Russell Building right now. Jones running hard with what is a large campaign war chest. Why Jeff Sessions? Over Doug Jones. Well, that war chest, uh, almost 90% of it came from places like Berkeley, California, and New York, all out of state money. Uh, but he does have a lot of money. And it takes, it's going a good, it's going to take a strong campaign, a good solid Republican with a proven record, I think, to guarantee a victory there. I think he's not in tune with the voters of Alabama. I think he can be beaten, but it does not need to be taken for granted. He has more money, I guess, than any candidate in the race. About a week ago, we saw your first ad come out for this campaign, and in it, you say that you strongly support President Trump, but he's been rather critical of you at times. Do you feel that you need to support the president because of the support he has from constituents here in Alabama? Well, the people in Alabama like him, and he's very popular here. And I support him because he's popular because he's strong and people appreciate uh, his advocacy, but I think it's because of the issues. The things that I was fighting for before he ran, and I saw him, and I saw some ability in him. I was the first senator to endorse him. And I thought he would advance this agenda to stand up against China, and defend American manufacturing, to end the lawlessness at the border, uh, to reduce regulations, to maybe uh, reevaluate this tendency that we got into involving ourselves in wars around the globe. I mean, his instinct was, this is too much. We're overextended, and we ought to pull back, and I've come to believe that. So those are things Alabamians believe, and he has been advancing them. He also uh, has put forth fabulous judges. Uh, we, we've got a large number of great judges that he's nominated, making good classical yeah. lawyers thrilled with what he's doing. Let me follow up on that, if I would. After you recused yourself on the oversight of the uh, Russia investigation, your relationship with Donald Trump took a, a nosedive. In fact, he openly criticized you in interviews, also on Twitter, and he said just last month, he described your term as Attorney General as a total disaster. He called you an embarrassment to the state of Alabama and said he wished you had never endorsed him. What are your thoughts about that? Do you regret that you endorsed him? Well, I don't regret that I've endorsed him. It was never about me. And I don't have any sense of returning to Washington to fight any of those battles. That has happened. I would be in the Senate, and we'd be advocating for the basic agenda that President Trump has uh, advanced. And, you know, I was always for that. Uh, and I became the leader in a lot of these issues, defending uh, the efforts to end the lawlessness at our border. It's unbelievable that continues to go on. We can fix that, but the problem is Congress. Congress and, and even some Republicans have not been strong enough on that. The president needs an advocate and a friend on that. He, we've got to stay with him on China. Uh, China is, uh, thinks they can wait him out. They think they can push back, uh, but we've got to say to President Trump, we're not cutting your legs off. Stand up there and continue this fight. How important do you think it is for a Republican to regain this Senate seat in Alabama with the balance of power being vulnerable at the upcoming election? Alyssa, it's, um, you never know about elections. Uh, the, the party that has the majority in the Congress uh, or their House, like the House now, every committee is chaired by a Democrat. Uh, they have a majority. In the Senate, if the Republicans continue their majority, the chairman will all be Republicans. If they lose it, Chuck Schumer and his team will pick the chairman of every committee. So these are things that are more significant than a lot of people think, and uh, this seat could indeed be the seat to determine who has the majority. With the, short time, with the short time we have left, I wanted to talk about yesterday, Gordon Sunland said that lawmakers, told lawmakers there was a quid pro quo. What are your thoughts on the impeachment inquiry? Well, I don't, quid pro 
quo language is uh, thrown around a lot. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, essentially, they've not articulated any crime. Uh, they one moment the they'll say yes, the the this, and another one that. I do not believe, and I think a lot of scholars do not believe that this is the kind of thing that should lead to impeachment. Uh, people say it's fixed. The Democrats are just going to vote for it no matter what. I would urge our Democratic House members, don't do this. What, next, what president next will have to go through this? People are telling me around Alabama it's time for Washington to get back to work, to fix the border, to uh, uh, stop wasteful spending, uh, to yeah. uh, stand up to China and, and advance our trading interests. We have so much that we want to talk to you about this morning. We're going to take this conversation over the Facebook, so make sure you guys join us there at 7 o'clock as we continue to talk to Jeff Sessions. Thanks for coming in and being here with us. Though. Thank you, Art. Thank you.